So good in this calling. Thanks, Thanks, love. Thank you. Okay. Um, congratulations, my God. And I have to tell you, I love watching a badass brooding Colin Farrell. <laughs> Wait, late change. <laughs> I like Thank the look. You. How much fun did you have making this, Colin? Uh, I had lots of fun making it. I had lots of fun in Albuquerque in the summer and beautiful sunsets every day and with a good, great bunch of actors. And I love Craig Gillespie and I loved the story. And I was a big fan of the original. And the, the whole idea of vampire lore and vampires in literature or film is something that I've always been a fan of and to get the chance to do it and to do it in this way it was a huge kind of box to tick for me yeah yeah it was a lot of fun it really was how was it finding your inner vampire i mean you treat it the same way as you treat a piece of a piece of theatrical text you know from grecian days you know you take this you treat it with the same level of seriousness that's the kind of ridiculous about it all and then throw it all away so the prep for it was like i was sitting down with someone and we were talking backstory and writing you know Jerry's 400-year-old backstory and where he was born, where did he start, and where was he in Versailles, and you know, where was he in the late 1800s in London, who did he drink with, and what taverns and shit. And then it gets kind of really dull because you're like, well, what the fuck are we trying to achieve here? And then you throw all that away and just have fun. Yeah. Marty Knoxon wrote a really cool character that was different enough from the original, different enough from yeah. Chris Sarandon, because Chris is, Chris is Jerry. Chris, who originated the part of Jerry, was so kind of debonair, debonair and so dignified and, and felt very European, very intellectual. And my guy was kind of more blue-collar guy next door. But very mischievous. Very Yeah, brutal. No, the trickster. My guy was kind of like the trickster very much. And, and, and bored. And, and, you know, a bored vampire is a very dangerous thing. And my guy, I think, because there was a lot of things in the film that I'm like, why is he doing this? Why would he do that? Is he not drawing too much attention? Is the idea not to survive? And it kind of came around, because you have to rationalize things, of course, that um, are certainly justified behaviors, is that he was quite bored. Yeah. You know? That, yeah. That, and the level of omnipotence that he, that he felt within him. His ego was, well, his ego wasn't human either. What I've been loving about you so much, Colin, lately, is that we, you're so mixing it up with your roles. Yeah. Horrible bosses. You, you stole the film. I couldn't stop laughing. That come over alone just set me <laughs> away. <laughs> then, you know, Fright Night, and then, of course, we're going to see in Total Recall, and then The Way Back. I mean, again, another well, amazing... It's too late to rock the, t the comb over for Total Recall. <laughs> no. They can CGI well, it. You think if you could walk down the street with that Come over, come over for the rest of your life. Do you think your fans would like that? I don't, I don't th the ones that I've met as a result of Horrible Bosses would not mind. The reaction on seeing me probably would be one of, <laughs> you know, loud laughter. But picking probably these, make these me very paranoid. Yeah, <laughs> but picking these these different, you know, it must be fantastic for you to, to mix it's, it up. It is love. It's so much fun. Genuinely, I mean, you know, I've I've heard actors and read uh, actors say it, um, and I it's it certainly is, is true to my experience that I really get the chance to walk in as, as many pairs of shoes as I possibly can you know, on this journey. And I just, it just makes it more interesting. I just really do. You know, there are certain, there are certain things I've repeated myself in, and there's something that I might do next year that's very like something that I did two and a half years ago, but it's enough not unlike it for me to still find new things in it. I know that. But I'm very kind of clinical-minded when it comes to, am I going to feel... Because three or four months is long enough. It's yeah. not long in, in, in the grand scheme of things. In, in, a, in you know, the telling of a whole of a long life to eighty, it's not, it's not forever. But to be on the road, away from your family, mm. to be immersed in something ten or twelve hours a day, three or four months, it better sustain your interest. And you never know if it's going to. But you can judge as best as possible from reading it. Project your mind forward and go, okay, is this going to keep me interested? That simple thing. Yeah. And if it's something I've done before. I can, I can create a world of fiction around it that will kind of run out of steam about a week in. Yeah. I can fool myself to think it's something, but if it's really like something I've done before, I ain't got too long with it before I go. Well, mm. very quickly, you've been away from your, whole, your family the whole summer being here in Toronto. What are we going to expect from Total Recall? Because it can hardly wait. Um, what are we going to expect? It, 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 an incredibly complete world that's like nothing I've ever seen on film. Um, and, and yeah, and hopefully a world that's inhabited by characters that you care about and a story that, that, that you know, Keeps you guessing and keeps you on your feet. And if we can, if those three things come across, well, then I think it'll be, I think it'll be worth twelve dollars. You know, which is the point of it all. If it ain't worth twelve dollars, and some of the times it ain't, you know, then you've let everyone down. Oh, but you're worth more than twelve dollars. Come on, <laughs> Owen, please. You, you saw that I was referring to myself purely. <laughs> <laughs> Again, such a good job in Bright Night. My God, you were fantastic. Thanks, darling. More, more badass, okay? Okay. All right, Roger thank that. you more so much. More badass, more comb over. Got it. Done. Got it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Great talking to you as usual. Thank you, Colin. You too. Okay. Am I, no.